It gives me special pleasure to open the Banja Luka Model United Nations Conference in the city that is so dear to my heart. Uh, Balmoon, as it is called, is the largest model UN conference ever to take place in the Balkans. The United Nations is the main international organization focusing on peace and security, development and human rights. By taking part in Balmoon, you are learning about the world and making an investment in creating a better future for the region. The stability of the Balkans can only be assured if nations respect one another's traditions, culture and heritage. Your participation in this conference is an important step towards realizing this aspiration. I am of the opinion that young people have a key role to play in saving succeeding generations from the scourge of war, which twice in our lifetime has brought untold sorrow to mankind to quote the preamble of the United Nations Charter. Ladies and gentlemen, at this model UN conference, you'll debate a wide range of UN-related issues. In the Humanitarian, Social and Cultural Committee, the themes will include combating child illiteracy and protecting ethnic minorities with a special focus on cultural identity. In the Security Council, delegates will discuss the nuclear issues as they relate to the Democratic People's Republic of Korea, and in Environmental Commission, sustainable technologies and various water issues will be debated. The Mediterranean Conference will focus on pollution and the promotion of eco-sustainable tourism. These are all subjects that you would see addressed in the New York City in the General Assembly, which is the chief deliberative policy-making and representative organ of the United Nations. As President of the General Assembly, it is my hope that young people from across the region and further afield will come together to debate with conviction and purpose, practicing mutual understanding and tolerance with their peers. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the first of what I hope will be many model UN conferences held in Banja Luka. The young people of the city have a unique opportunity, not only to learn about the core values of the UN, to hone their debating skills and gain insights into what it takes to achieve progress and diplomacy, but also to become more aware of issues which affect the world community of nations beyond the Balkans. In the same vein, it is my hope that visiting delegates will return home with new friends as well as a better understanding of the region and the role it can play in building a more stable and prosperous future for the whole world. I wish you all great success in your deliberations during the conference. It is a great pleasure to greet this model United Nations. You meet at a time of great challenge and transition. Our world faces complex realities from joblessness to inequality to climate change and instability. Many people are disillusioned. There is a distrust in institutions. To help build a future of peace, prosperity, freedom and justice, I have set out an action agenda that focuses on five imperatives. Achieving sustainable development, preventing conflicts, damage from disasters and human rights abuses, building a more secure world, supporting countries in transition, and doing more with and for the world's women and youth. You in this audience have a crucial role to play. You are part of the largest generation of young people our world has ever known. Yet opportunities are falling Short, youth unemployment rates are at record levels. We must do more to help young people make the most of their enormous potential. This model UN will help you strengthen your negotiating skills. It will offer insights into what it takes to achieve progress and build consensus. This may be a model UN, but I hope you will act as if you are dealing with the real and serious problems we are facing today around the world. 
This will truly help you cultivate your capacity as future leaders. The United Nations has never been more important or more in demand. Together, we have a moral and political responsibility to meet the expectations of the world's people. The world needs you to organize, to mobilize, to raise awareness through Facebook and Twitter, to make your voices heard. This is an era of uncertainty, but also one of profound opportunity for individuals to make a difference. Help us build the future we want. I wish you great success.